Welcome to Electron Line. In this video, we're going to talk about the line of symmetry. Now, here we have five different shapes. Here we have a triangle. Well, there's two different types of triangles. There's an isosceles triangle. There's an equilateral triangle. We have a parallelogram. We have a square. And we have a pentagon. Now, can we draw lines in such a way that the line will divide the object that we have, the shape that we have, in two exactly equal parts? It turns out we can. Over here, if we draw a line from the vertex up here, to the halfway point on the base right here, straight down. Then you can see that the left triangle is exactly equal to the right triangle, and therefore that is what we call a line of symmetry. With the parallelogram, we can do the same thing. We can go to the halfway point of the top here and the halfway point of the base, and if we draw a line from that point, to, oh, let me try that again. Draw a line from one point to the other right there. You can see that the two halves are exactly equal in shape and size. We can also draw a line from the halfway point over here to the halfway point over there. Draw a line this way, and again, that line divides the shape in exactly two equal parts like that. How about a pentagon? Can we do it with a pentagon? The answer is yes, because all the sides are equal in length, so they're all congruent, and all the angles are equal to one another. So therefore, if we draw a line from the vertex to the base on the other side, like this, you can see that you can divide this pentagon in two exactly equal shaped halves. We can also draw a line from this vertex to this base over here, or that side over there, I should say. And again, it divides the pentagon in two exactly same shapes uh, halves. We could draw a line from this vertex to that side over there, and again, divides into exact two shapes. We could do it again from here to there, and finally from there to there. And notice there are five different lines of symmetry that we can draw in the pentagon, each one of them dividing the pentagon in two exactly equal sized halves. With an equilateral triangle, just like with a, since with a pentagon we can draw five symmetry lines, here we can probably draw three symmetry lines, and the answer is yes, we can. From the vertex down to the base, from this vertex to the side over here, and from this vertex to the side over there. Notice in each case it will, it will cause the, the triangle to be divided into two exactly same shape and size triangles. Of course, same shape meaning it's kind of the mirror image of the other because you have to flip it over to have the same shape. Now what about a square? It has four equal sides and four corners. So how many lines do you think we can draw lines of symmetry? Well, it turns out we can draw a line straight across this way. We can draw a line straight across this way. We can also draw a line straight across this way. And we can draw a line straight across this way. In each case, we divided the square in two exactly equal size shapes. Now what about the parallelogram? Do you think we could do the same as we did for the square here? And I believe the answer is yes, because if we draw a line from corner to corner, from opposite corners, Again, that's a line of symmetry. It divides the parallelogram in two exactly same size or same shape um, halves. And if we draw a line this way, again, we can do the same. So notice there, again, there are four lines of symmetry in the parallelogram as well. And that's what we mean by the concept of line of symmetry.